what? So I told her what I was gonna do. She eats all the what? She tries to eat all the dolls no matter what. Who, Des? Uh -huh. Des, don't eat the dolls. I told her that millions of times. Wow, look at that hair. Shake it. <laughs> you guys having fun? Tori, we should be in school right now. We gotta do school. I'm calling you right now. Oh, you gonna play the microphone? Okay. Noelle, you gonna play with Des out here? <laughs> Guess we gotta pick up all the small parts first. Oh no, no. <laughs> no, no. That's the problem with big kids and little kids at the same time. Lots of little toys. Here's a baby. You wanna play with a baby doll? Okay, take care of your baby. We're gonna go do a little school, but you take care of your baby. Feed her and put her to bed. Mm -hmm. Good morning, let me show you what I've been working on the last couple days. I've been taking a little time to clean out my mud room, which is, gets fully stuffed. Especially by the end of winter, it can be crazy full. So I have already gone through three kids, my oldest three and my youngest three. Yesterday I did the oldest three, Today the youngest three, and I, now I have to do the middle three. Maybe today or tomorrow. So I go through each of their shoes, pull out what's horribly wrecked, throw them away, put away what it, they've grown out of and can be saved, is decent enough to be saved for the next child. And then I wrap those up in masking tape and write the size on them. We have a big laundry basket we put all those in so they're easy to find the new size. And then I put away their bag of, each of them have like a cloth bag of winter stuff, like snow pants and their own gloves and hats. I put their coats in it and their winter boots and we take those down to our storeroom. They keep up their jackets, but Judah, Bell, and Luca are keeping those in their rooms right now. So I still gotta do Micah, Tori, and Eli's. I just took care of Noelle and Hope and Dez this morning. I want a moat to get paid. <laughs> and then these are my oldest kids' baskets along with Solo's. Mine is in here. I cleaned out these two little ones. That's Destiny's. We keep hers in here. She has some shoes that she'll grow into down there. Really the only thing that fits her are these on the top. Um, but I didn't want to put those down in the basement right now. So I gotta get through Tori's. Her basket's overflowing and Micah and Eli's. And then Solo and I will hang our coats in our front hall closet by the front door. It's really nice to clean out this room in the spring because it's just, it starts getting to where people's buckets are too full and we're tripping over shoes that are falling out. So getting it back to square one just means I make sure everybody has something to wear to church. Maybe a tennis shoe and definitely a sandal uh, for play every day. So the tennis shoes that we're needing, we used to not need tennis shoes really in the summer, but now they're playing, they play more sports, some of them, and they're, we have like track meets or this or that. The older ones, of course, they want them for basketball and stuff, so we just make sure we have those basics and then we're good. So, so far, Noelle might need a pair of tennis shoes. She doesn't have one. She has some play sandals, some church sandals, and Oh, I guess you do have a little pair of tennis shoes that we got at the Grand Canyon because we didn't have her shoes. So yeah. So far I, need, I don't need to buy anything, which is my favorite. I bought them all sandals for Easter, so that will serve as their church shoes for the whole summer. All the girls, that is. And the boys must still fit them. So yay. <laughs> we had some tennis shoes they'd grown out of, but not church shoes. You want to go outside? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you haven't even gotten dressed yet. And I'd rather you stay inside just while I'm doing school a little bit. Noelle, I want you to stay. No. You haven't gotten dressed yet either. Can I get dressed right now? Can you what? Get dressed right now. Yeah, go get dressed. I got these. If you followed a while, you'll, you know that I got these in Florida last summer. And I still was telling Solo the other day, I've never spent so much for shoes, but this is the best $100 I've ever spent in my life. My feet are so different after having these. I had, I got a pair in the winter too that are like a clog, and I wore them just in the house a lot. If you have foot problems, like my problem is a really high arch and some a little bit of heel spurs, oh my gosh. 
so much better, so much better. So I'm very happy with these still. Yay, I, I don't need any more shoes. Although they're not cute enough to wear everywhere, but <laughs> they really are life changing. Are you gonna go with me? No, you can't go with me. You she wants to. Me. She wants to go to the gym with you, to study with you, all the things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She is clinging to him tight I don't today. I can handle that. But you probably could handle it. Oh, the yeah. Is that, will I be able to handle that? <laughs> she could handle it just fine. <laughs> you would get nothing Say done. Bye -bye, my, uh, uh, okay. Oh, you, need <laughs> you need to take a nap. You need to take a nap. That's what she needs. That won't happen. <laughs> then his sons set to work digging with all their might, turning up every foot of the ground with their spades and going over the whole farm two or three times. But the treasure their father had told them about was the wealth of a beautiful crop and that in their industry had they found the treasure. Industry is itself a treasure. When Robin woke the next morning, John Go in the Wind had a good fire going. Even though rain fell at intervals and the wind was still blowing, from which he was cutting huge slices of bread, he heard Robin stirring and greeted him with his blessing. Let me see your duck lips. Mm. <laughs> Is that Take good candy? Line. Oh, you got bunny face. <laughs> Here's a cricket. There you go. <laughs> What are you working on? I'm doing quick things. Uh -huh. Have you done most of your list this morning? Yeah. What are you working on, Val? What's your report about? Oh, yes. Oh, she's so trying to find some current event. This is how homeschooling with toddlers and preschoolers makes my house look by mid-morning. Got a baby that empties a drawer all over. 10,000. Yep. Uh, 247,000. Yep. Six. No. Look at that one again. <laughs> Destiny's sleeping. Do you miss Destiny when she sleeps? <laughs> Are you drinking some coffee there? <laughs> Ooh, are you done with your test too, Eli? No, I don't get one pint. Uh-oh. Go read the directions really closely again. Go read the directions again. I just said this Tori, you want to show what you're reading right now? She's caught up with her fourth grade readers. Chocolate. So she's reading one she picked out, the to chocolate touch. This one was mine when I was a kid. I read it before, but now I have to read it at school. Yeah. I like the book. She had to pick out an extra one. <laughs> Man, I am digging your hair today. I know we got to do it, but wow. It's so big and cool. And Eli's working on writing. He just took an English test. Good job, Eli. And Eli is reading this one. He was keeping up with Tori's fourth grade readers. We're doing the same grade together in sunlight, which is B plus C, the core. They are. But he wasn't quite understanding the readers, so we went back a level, and he's reading this. Eli, do you understand this one better? It's written by Beverly Lewis, who's a Christian author. She does this yeah, series for young people better. called The Cul-de-Sac Kids. <laughs> just a little better, he said. <laughs> he's understanding it much better. So comp he, can, he can read lots of big words, but comprehension is a little challenge still, which is not surprising, he's only six. He begged me, like, Mom, can I get my English test done and my writing and then go t jump on the trampoline for a little bit? So that was good incentive for him. He needs to get some energy out. He'll do his math and his reading a little bit later <laughs> after he gets some energy out for a while. All right, Luca, we're almost done. Are the push-ups helping? What do we have left? What number? Um, 24. Did you come back to work already? No. 
Oh, come on, just do a little more. Then you'll be done for the day. <laughs> Finally got everyone dressed and ready for the day. I mean, hair done, teeth done. Finally, it's only almost lunchtime. Oh, you still got a nose we gotta work on. <laughs> Bye! Are you going outside with Belle? Okay, have fun! Okay, down the slide. Ben. Three. Yeah! Whoa, we stopped. Whoa. Whoa! 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 You can go very slow in a slide. Do you like that? Did you sleep good? Yeah. No. Are you really awake? Come here. Okay, you can go outside. Have fun. Bye. She is so happy with herself. She goes. So I'm going to take a little break from vlogging. One thing I have learned over the years. I would admit that it took a little time to learn it, <laughs> but I think I've learned it pretty well is to know my limits and I know if I'm getting close to getting overwhelmed or of course there's ins and outs of being overwhelmed all the time, but if I'm getting close to burnout, I know when I need to take a break and right now I feel like with my vlog I need to take a little break. I just need to step back for a minute. I did it um, back in August I think and it was really good for me and I think good for the vlog too because it gives me a chance to think about it and get some fresh perspective um, when I take a break from constantly doing it and it also gives me a chance to get ahead a little bit uh, which helps relieve my family schedule a little and those kind of things. So. I don't want to get to the point of burnout and I know in every area of my life I have to know my limits and when I have to draw the line and say no is something that I am still probably a work in progress but I have learned to do over the years and it really really helps my sanity. It helps me keep a lot of things going in my life but also to keep my priorities my priorities I would say. So right now for a little bit I've just felt like I need a, just a season of vlogging. You know vlogging is funny like when you go on vacation, uh, let me speak for myself, when I go on vacation I still vlog probably even more than before. Yeah? Did you find Belle outside? Belle went outside too. When big moments happen in life I still vlog. So everything that's happening through life like even when it gets crazy or um, off schedule or anything we're vlogging even more than normal which continues to be although it is fun and it's great memories and stuff it is also time consuming and it's also work and it's been a huge blessing to our family um, but the other funny thing about vlogging is so like you don't get a vacation necessarily <laughs> unless you just take one but the other thing about it is um, there's a lot of numbers and analytics involved in vlogging, especially when your channel starts growing and things. And so if it's doing really poorly, you don't want to take a break from it because that would seem counterproductive. And if it's doing really well, <laughs> you don't want to take a break from it because you don't want to stop it from doing well. And so I, um, I really cannot, for my own sanity, I can't look at anything like that. I just know when I feel like I need to take a break. I need to take a break. Whether the channel is doing awesome or not so awesome, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm really just going by what I know I need and to be able to stay creative and have fun with it, I know I have to make sure that I take care of myself too. And so right now I just feel like taking a break, stepping back for a minute will help me have a good perspective and and yeah, there's a couple of things that I've been talking to Solo about. I bounce a lot of stuff off of him about our vlog and a couple ideas I have that to maybe change it up a little and keep it fresh. And so I want to have some time to really think about that kind of thing and just to rest. <laughs> so 
I will be back with a new video May 13th. I'm just taking two weeks off, so not long. I got someone very chatty here. She's competing with me. And on May 13th, I'll be back. And um, when we come back, we have two very exciting things to share with you. Hopefully they're exciting for you. They're really exciting for us. Things that will take you along with on this journey with our family on this vlog. So I hope you stick around. Don't leave us in two weeks. <laughs> and we will be back. Are you coming back? You want the shoe one? I thought you were saying Judah and you were saying shoe one. Hope, are you coming back? Are you not sure yet? <laughs> okay, so you heard it from her. All right, that's it for me, guys. Nothing dramatic here. Just taking a little rest for a minute. And I will see you back here in two weeks with our two big announcements. Not gonna make you wait past May 13th. We'll tell you both on that day. Thank you guys for watching today and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.